Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jermaine. If you are returning, thank you all so much for watching. Um, this is going to be a different video. I don't usually do these, but I'm trying to be more consistent and pump out the content. So this is going to be a little mini bathroom tour, shower, shower essentials video. Um, I just got out of the shower, so I thought it would be a perfect time to go ahead and do a little mini video for you guys. My bathroom in its entirety. I'm very proud of it because... It looked very ugly. If I have it, I don't even know if I have the pictures anymore. When I first did the apartment tour, as far as like leasing the apartment, I don't even think I have those pictures, but it was so ugly. It was just, <sighs> floor was ugly, the walls were ugly. So I tried to give it a makeover as best as I could, and I'm actually really proud of it. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. This is artificial grass. I love it. It's great for my, um, I don't know, sensory, whatever you want to call it, whatever. Um, oh, I'm not even doing my bathroom justice, child. Let me get Bambino. If you watch my houseplants videos, hello, this is Bambino. I usually put him out in the sun when I go to work. But usually he is right here chilling, so that is the bathroom girl, okay. I got this from Home Depot. It was not cheap, but it's so worth it. It's a very small space. It's not perfect around the corners and stuff, but it looks damn near close to me. Okay, and then I really wanted the colors to give like a spa feel, except for the black. It's just, I love black, so black is gonna be like the accessory color here. I got this off Amazon. It comes with two, I guess, hampers. One I use for my towels. And then the other I use strictly for pantyhose. Because I'm a flight attendant, um, I have to hand wash them. So I just reserve the space for them. And then, you know, when it's time to wash them, I just grab them all out, hand wash them, and let them air dry. Tissues. This is for my pads and tampons. Let me tell you something. If you know, you know. This is the best washcloth you can possibly use for your body. I actually got these off of walmart.com. I was searching for them for a while, so I was using the ones from Target. Actually, I was using a shower poof, but this is just for guests. This is a wine rack that I got off Amazon. Um, it comes with three little hooks. They're not um, connected. You do have to install them separately, but I just thought this was the cutest thing. You have to get really creative uh, living in New York. There's not a lot of storage space in this apartment, so yeah. Um, shelves, I got these a long time ago, but I want to say I got them off Amazon too. I did have pictures hanging here. All of this was different, but because I changed my apartment around and stuff, I have not decided what I, exactly what I want to do with this area yet, but I do want to make it really, really cute. So just stick around for that video. So just use this and get to this in a second. So I put my Huggies thing here for the wipes, duh, toilet paper different kinds of spray, especially for when guests come over and want to blow up my bathroom. Completely fine, but use the spray. All of my hair pro extra hair products are here. Deep conditioning, I have body scrub. I love, love, love. Come on, focus for me, baby. Okay, I love this Flamingo Deep Nourishing Cream. Ugh, my favorite, one of my favorite body products to date. Love you, Flamingo. And if you're watching, please sponsor your girl because I'm always buying your shit, okay? <laughs> anyway. Face towels, I have a different color for my face towels. And then I also have a light blue set for when I travel, just to keep up with what I need to wash. Um, I also got this bamboo thing from Amazon as well. It was kind of tedious to put together, but once it was all together, it was completely fine. You get a couple different of these shelves. I think I had two extra and I just tossed them honestly because I didn't need them. Um, the brand is Homfa, you guys see. H-O-M-F-A. I would definitely recommend getting this if you like the bamboo feel. Um, a mess. Okay, I don't wanna talk about it. The only outlet in here, y'all, is this outlet. So I had to put an extension cord. I know that's probably not the best idea in the bathroom, but I had to put an extension cord and I have this little lamp as the light. I just wanted something different in here, a clock, whatever. And um, here is my shower curtain. I think I got this from Target, if I'm not mistaken. And then 
I got this from Amazon. It's cloth on both sides, which I really, really like. It's easy to toss in the washing machine, so I really, really like that. As far as my shower products go, okay, so let's start first with these little things that I got off Amazon. It's a five pack. I'm gonna link it below. The old ones that I had kept falling off of my shower and it was really, really pissing me off. Like I would come home and all of my stuff would be at the bottom of the tub. Like I would be pissed. And one of them broke, so it was just ridiculous. So I got a new set. Um, I think it was like maybe $40. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> um, but I got a new set for all of my stuff and so far so good. Please don't worry about that tape. I, the maintenance man put it there. I think it was like for airflow or something. Like it was something, something was, I'm just gonna, he put it there, I'm gonna leave it there. So whatever. So, and I usually have eucalyptus hanging. I put this here and totally forgot that I hang eucalyptus. So I may end up hanging it from here um, and just have it on the side. So I use one soap bar holder for my tooth, what is this called? Mouthwash <laughs> and charcoal. So I use this every once in a while and then I always keep a little dental thing here because I, I be forgetting to floss, I'm sorry. And it's just, if it's not in my sight, I don't do it. <laughs> so anyway, and then my um, toothbrush and toothpaste over here on the side. I don't know why I put it there, I just, it's there now, okay? And as far as shower essentials, I really like Miel, Miel. I gotta figure out how to say that, child. Um, I really like the Rosemary Mint shrimp Shrimpening Shampoo. Um, I have not been able to find, this autofocus is gonna drive me insane. I have not been able to find the conditioner in this size, so I do use the mask for the conditioner when I want to condition with it. I love this. It makes my hair so soft and it's just so clean after I use it. I also have her Hawaiian Ginger line, which I love the smell of as well. I have her hair gel in the Hawaiian Ginger. I really like this. This though has been my favorite conditioner to date. It smells so freaking good. It's an anti-shedding conditioner. I don't use it enough for me to notice the anti-shedding, maybe I should, but um, it's amazing. So I have the Hawaiian Ginger Conditioner over there as well. I do like Pantene's Sulfate Free Line. Um, I've been just trying different ones so far. I do like this one. This one is with Rosemary. Um, it smells really good. I also like the Miracle Boost. I'm not a fan of rose stuff. I think it smells like Old Lady, but this one is actually really, it smells really good. I smell everything before I buy it, I don't be playing. Then the Illuminating Color Care, I got this when I dyed my hair black, and I just really like this line of Pantene products. As far as body scrubs, Dr. Teal's is that girl, okay? This one is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Really love this one. However, the consistency is thick and the I guess the granules or whatever are very small. So I do like that before bed, exfoliation day, but my favorite y'all, hence why I have three of them, is, and this is, I can only find this at Walmart right now. I don't know why, and it's not even in all the Walmarts. Every single time I have a layover and there's a Walmart, I go and buy one if there's, if there's any, but this smells amazing. The size of the granules are just the perfect size. I love this sugar scrub, like I said. As you can tell, there's a lot of them there ready to go so I don't run out. So as far as body stuff, I will start with head to toe, how I usually do my shower routine. So I will start with my face. Right now, I know it's pronounced CeraVe. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to just manually focus this anyway. I know it's pronounced CeraVe, but in this house, we're bougie, so we say CeraVe, okay? So I use CeraVe's Renewing SA Cleanser as my facial, facial wash, my God. And then I really like the Inky List Sicilic Acid Cleanser for my chest and back. Um, when I wear my hair down, I tend to get um, back knee and chest knee really bad, I guess, from the oils in my hair. But I did just subscribe to Curology, and they have an acne, oh my God, please, please, please. 
Uh, they have an acne body wash, so I've been using that. It's like day three of me using that. So I will give you guys an update about how that's going. As far as, oh, what's next? Oh, okay, so also one thing about these two, it's very good for you to leave them on for at least like a minute or so and let it work its magic. Don't automatically rinse it off when you're done scrubbing. Next, while that's sitting there doing its thing, I'd go in with the hoo-ha wash. If it will focus for me, please, please. My God, I can't with this camera. What is going on? Oh, okay. The hoo-ha wash. I love L brand. I buy all of their tampons, all of their pads, and this foam wash is unscented. I used to not use any kind of wash for my hoo-ha, but, and I was, mainly because I was scared to use the product because I'm like, nothing needs to be going down there. It, everything is fine. But you know, on my cycle, I really like to have an extra little oomph for my hoo-ha area. So girls know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I really love that brand. It's unscented. I haven't had any issues as far as, let me talk to y'all for a second. I haven't had any issues as far as like pH balance or anything off about my hoo-ha area. She loves it. Okay, so. I use that daily now. I was using it only on my cycle, but then I just kind of got used to using it. So I use it all the time now. And then, oh, that girl, oh my God, this is my favorite. Method knew what they, <sighs> Method knew what they were doing with this one, okay? I have four of these on go, just like my body scrub this always stays in my home i love this scent it is my signature body wash i love it i use it every single day all the time i also use it on my layovers i have a little miniature one of this and i just refill it like that is that is me okay i love pacifica brand also this is a brightening face wash i usually use this if my face is feeling a little dull or it's looking a little dull so i will use um this one it's vitamin c and vanilla which is an interesting combination i do like it though i will say i don't know if this was a bad batch but this is not hydrating on my face at all i actually need to just toss this because i don't even use it i don't even know why it's in my bathroom anymore let me tell you something about this it doesn't foam up okay i don't know if it's supposed to but it doesn't foam up it makes my skin feel really weird it doesn't feel like it's cleansing my skin at all and i don't know what that's about if that's how it's supposed to feel please leave a comment and let me know if you use this um but it just it, it just does not do it for me i like the essay cleanser way better all right so i will show you guys my razor this razor is from amazon okay it comes with like three packs of these all filled up i have been using that kind of razor for three years now ever since i discovered it it's a five blade razor okay it's good for all areas of the body i have thick hair okay i don't have thin cute little fine hairs no i have thick hair so i need something that's a close shave one and done like no <laughs> we're done okay so I will link that below. I love that razor. It lasts forever as well. And as soon as, I'll use it maybe three or four times on my hoo-ha. And once that's done um, and it's a little bit dull, I will use it on my legs. And then when it's pretty dull, I'll use it on my underarms. My underarms are very sensitive. So I, I cannot use a brand new razor under my arms. It's just, no. Especially with the uniform dress that I wear. It's so high cut up there. I. I will be in shambles. Me and my underarms will be in shambles. Remington, uh, what is this called? Bikini trimmer. I use this, um, if I let my underarm hair get too long, I will trim it first and then shave it. Or I will use it on my bikini line just to trim up. I love that brand. Yeah, so that's about it, y'all. Sorry about my neighbors upstairs. They are obnoxious as hell. Oh, last but not least, are you going to focus for me? Y'all just give me a second while I, while I just got this camera like not even a week ago, so please. So this is the coconut cream bath body shower oil, whatever, body bath, whatever. I love this so much, but I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that this is not the actual oil that's in this bottle right now. <laughs> so I went to go buy another one of these and they did not have it and I was very upset. 
um, like dramatic, but I was sad. And so I ended up getting the Shea Moisture one. I don't have the bottle anymore because I used the other one and um, I put the rest in here. So until this is done, I do like the shower, the Shea Moisture oil. However, it does not smell as good as this. This, if you have ever smelled this in Target, it smells so good. They have a body wash, they have a hair detangler, and there's certain, I don't know why I'm not talking to y'all. <laughs> there's just certain things that like, I want this part of my body to smell one way, I want this part of my, like, so like, I'm not gonna use, like for example, I was using Love and Planet for a while for my hair, and it was like a coconut, some kind of coconut, no, I don't have it up there. I was using that for my hair. Then they came out with a lotion. And so I bought the lotion. And when I was putting the lotion on, I was like, this reminds me of my hair. Like, I don't want. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just weird about that kind of stuff. So I usually do some kind of mint oil, some kind of smell, scent like that for my hair. And then I would use like vanilla, coconut, something scent for my body. You know what I mean? Like, it's just very, like, I just don't want my lotion to smell like my shampoo, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but whatever so yeah I definitely use this once I get out the shower I towel dry a little bit and then I put this on like I don't dry off all the way when I'm not using my flamingo uh, moisturizing cream so that is my bathroom tour yeah I just wanted to show you guys a little something something a little peek into my apartment if you don't watch my vlogs Ooh, let me get back in the line <laughs> If you got this far to the end of the video, thank you all so much for your time, for your click, for your view. It makes smaller creators like myself feel so good when you guys watch my stuff. Please make sure you comment, like, give any tips, your favorite products. So let me know what I can go try. I'm a Target girl. So if it's at Target, I will go buy it and I will talk about it. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye. I could never write my